Hello, everyone, and welcome to Photo Finds. I'm your host, Gavin Hatch. This past week, I got to take a magical five-night Western Caribbean cruise aboard the Disney Wonder, visiting Mexico and Disney's private island, Castaway Key. Most Disney Cruise Line sailings depart from Port Canaveral, located only one hour from Walt Disney World, but for this voyage, we sailed from Port Miami. The Disney Wonder debuted in 1999 and was the second out of four ships added to the fleet. At first glance, the body of the ship may look black, but it's actually bad luck to have a black hull. So it's actually a very dark blue, called Monica Blue, named after an Imagineer who was wearing a dark dress one day in a conference with fellow Imagineers when they were still trying to find out the perfect dark color for the exterior of the ship. Overall, when you look at the outside of the ship, all the colors match that of Mickey Mouse. Disney even had to get special authorization to change the color of the lifeboats to Mickey Yellow instead of the traditional orange found on other cruises. Once on board, you enter the Grand Atrium Lobby, which is absolutely beautiful and really, it makes you forget you're on a ship. Just like on Main Street USA in the Magic Kingdom, forced perspective is used in the lobby to make it appear larger than it really is. A bronze statue of Ariel greets you at the bottom of the Grand Staircase at the entrance of Triton's, one of the dining room locations. At first glance, you don't see Disney characters everywhere, but if you look closely, you can see them hidden and integrated into the Art Nouveau style of the ship. For example, the characters can be seen between the deck floors depicting many jobs of the cast and crew on board the ship. During our sailing, we stayed in a deluxe ocean view stateroom with private veranda on deck number five. I think the best feature of this room had to be the veranda, as well as the split bathroom. A split bathroom feature is great, allowing two people to be getting ready at the same time, giving you two sinks, but putting the shower in a separate room from the toilet. I loved the artwork in the room. You have concept art from the Pirates of the Caribbean attraction, as well as a photograph of Walt and his wife on an ocean liner. Walt and Lily actually took their honeymoon on a cruise. Once you get unpacked and settled in your room, make yourself a drink and head up to the Sail Away Party. The Sail Away Party is the best way to start the vacation. It has great music, characters, audience participation, and you get to hear the ship's very unique horn blasts. Soon after you sail away, you get ready for that evening's entertainment for the whole family in the beautiful Walt Disney Theater. Every night you will enjoy a different Broadway style show or variety act such as magicians or comedians in this theater, and I highly recommend you see every single one. If you prefer movies, there is a full-size movie theater on board showing first-run Disney movies every cruise, some even in 3D, located in the Buena Vista Theater. After the show is dinner, and on Disney Cruise Line, you can experience what they call rotational dining. Each ship has three completely different dining rooms, and you rotate around them during the cruise. But here's what makes it even more unique. The dining staff, such as your servers, rotate with you every single night. The attention to service on the ship, especially in the dining rooms, is really what sets Disney apart in the business. And if you have been there before, you know what I mean. On the Disney Wonder, you can visit Triton's, which is themed to the Little Mermaid and has a menu with a French flair. Parrot Key has the relaxed feel of the tropics and serves great Caribbean Island grill house specialties. At Animator's Palette, you celebrate Disney animation, and it includes an innovative dinner show starring your favorite Disney characters. Each ship has Animator's Palette, but it's a different experience on each one. If you prefer buffets, you are always welcome to enjoy Beach Blanket Buffet for breakfast, lunch, and at dinner time, it becomes a table service restaurant offering many of the main dining menu options. For those who want to have a night away from the kids and have a dining experience that you will never forget, dine at Palo. This is an adult-only dining room that is an additional cost of just $30, but it is worth every penny. Palo is themed to Italy, which is where the Disney Wonder was built. At the end of your meal, you get to sign and leave your review of the experience in a black book. But if you look closely inside the display case near the elevators, you will see the first book used during the inaugural voyages of the ship. You know there must be some signatures in there of some A-list celebrities and important Disney people that sailed in 1999. After dinner, you can drop the kids off at one of the many childcare areas that are open from 9 a.m. all the way till midnight. For the infants up to age two, you have Flounder's Reef Nursery. For kids ages three to 12, there is the Oceaneer Club and Oceaneer Lab. If you're traveling with any tweens or teens, there is Edge and Vibe. 
All areas are supervised by counselors, and parents are not allowed, which of course the kiddos love. After the kids are in their own space, the adults can escape to their very own nightlife area. Route 66 is exclusively for guests 18 and is always full of entertainment options till 2 a.m. Wave Bands is the main nightclub and hosts daily bingo and nightly variety acts. At the Cadillac Lounge, you can relax in a more quiet atmosphere with a drink and a grand piano to enjoy. Diversions is the sports bar and is the place to be to catch a big game on ESPN or you can just play some board games with a group of friends. Just like the Cadillac Lounge, it's a lot quieter than wave bands. Adults even have their own pool called Quiet Cove and so do the kids over at the Mickey Pool. If you all want to enjoy the water, the Goofy Pool is for the whole family. Now everyone's favorite part of Disney Cruise Line is Disney's private island Castaway Key, which is a stop on most Bahamian and Caribbean cruises. This place is just like the ship. It has all-inclusive food and drinks and lots of activities for the whole family. But if you want to sneak away from the kids, there's an adult-only beach and the counselors will watch the kids for you, just like on the ship. My favorite part of Castaway Key is all the recreational options. I love to snorkel, bike ride, and I even ran my first 5K. The 5K is included in your cruise and happens every morning on Castaway Key. There's so much that is included in a Disney cruise vacation, you never have enough time to do it all. But I would highly, highly recommend checking it out because there is something for everyone, I promise you. So please, in the comments below, let me know what your favorite part of Disney cruising is and the most exotic place that you've been. I really want to do the Mediterranean sailing, but I got to start saving up for that very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I would have taken more pictures if I wasn't having so much fun. But until next time, remember to get out, have fun, and enjoy the parks.